A very good day to you, distinguished viewers from wherever you're watching us. This is Rero TV, and as you know, my name is Apple Rero Henry Afos. Uh, today we are the home of uh, the candidate for ABGA uh, when discussing Delta State House of Assembly, Saple constituency. Uh, we are with uh, Honorable Evis Ayumano. Oh no, hey, what's up? Brendo, how it's always, it's always, It's always nice talking to you. Uh, now, before we discuss ABGA, uh, you were the deputy state chairman of the All Progressive Congress in Delta State, and uh, lots of rumors circulating online why you left uh, the APC. Uh, some say that you were actually uh, sacked. For the sake of our viewers at home, can you help us clear the air on this? Uh, thank you very much for <clears throat> actually bringing up this issue. Yeah. Like you rightly know, I was the Deputy State Chairman of All Progressives Congress, Delta State. I assumed the office of the Deputy State Chairman of the party in uh, 2018, April to be precise, April 2018. And uh, uh, it's supposed to span for four years. It's actually a four years uh, tenure thing. And I served my four years. Uh, towards the end, we had issues. Issues in the party where some leaders we are trying to seize the party to themselves. Uh, very unfortunately, they, they were able to get the state chairman to, you know, to their path, mm. which of course, everybody who knows me knows that I don't uh, compromise like that. I don't trade my integrity for any amount of money. So a leader, a particular leader was able to, you know, maybe dangle some carrots here and there and there. Uh, he fell for the, the trick and uh, he wanted certain things. Uh, this was a leader who we all struggled, fought for to see that against, you know, his uh, prominence, which he actually came into limelight through our collective uh, effort. And at a point in time, he was high in the position of the governorship for 2023 and then uh, he decided that he was going to push everybody away so that the road would be clear for him. He knows me as an individual. I don't uh, compromise. I don't do things like that. And uh, he wanted the governorship candidate out of the way. He wanted us to put heads together and push him out so that the road would be clear for him. And then I didn't like it. So he was able to dangle some carrots at the state chairman who fell for it. And uh, when they saw I was not ready, I was not willing to toe that wrong path. He called the state chairman to unilaterally, without anything, just announce that I've been suspended. Oh. And we woke up in the morning to hear that uh, we saw a publication, the state chairman has suspended me. For no reason, the state working committee had no issue with me, there was no report, no complaint about me, no nothing. And instantly, the state executive members, they were very angry. The first pers uh, person who called me that morning when thing, the publication came out was the Honorable Minister for uh, Labor and Employment, uh, Festus Kiamosan. He actually woke me up that morning and was like, Elvis, what's going on? I was like, I don't know what you're saying. He was like, yo, didn't you see the publication? I said, I'm just waking up. He said, there's a publication. Joe just announced that you have been suspended. But relax, we will take care of everything. We don't know what's going on here. The next call I got was from our governorship candidate for 2019, uh, Chief Great of the Borough. Elvis, calm down, what's going on? We'll look into it. I was like, I just got a call from the minister. I, I don't even know what's happening. He said, I should calm down. They will call themselves together. They're already calling each other to see what's going on. He dropped, and the next thing I got was another call from uh, His Excellency Governor Emmanuel Oduai, who called me again. This spanned within a space of 10 minutes. I was receiving all these calls. And I told them that, well, let me even call my executive members. So I started calling, what is going on? And they were all like, we don't know what's going on. And immediately the secretary circulated a message for an emergency meeting, a press conference for all state officers. And we were 24 in attendance in that, that day mm -hmm. in Worry at uh, Qatar the Pedro Hotel, where we extracted everything. And they saw that the man Maybe he was drunk or something, and then he, too many inconsequences in his uh, character and stuff. And this state escort 24 
of the 36 signed his uh, uh, suspension and he was placed on suspension by the 24 members which is to third majority of the state ESCO and I was immediately sworn in as the acting state chairman. That was how I became the acting state chairman. There was never a time I was suspended by the executive. Okay. Somebody unilaterally woke up from his bedroom and announced that he suspended me and that was a complete uh, mess. And I, he regretted everything. He called me on one or two occasions to say he was sorry for what happened and that he was, uh, you know, pushed. I think the last time we even spoke, I was like, you killed the party. Because you allowed yourself to be pushed by one man. One man we made. If I tell you how that man became the senator, the role I played in 2015 to bring him as a senator, I played a major role in his life becoming a senator. Then 2019, in fact, I did more than enough. I took, I, in fact, I took my life for him. You know, but it's unfortunate. But in all, I, after... Uh, uh, there, would be, there was some reconciliation um, thanks to Stella Kotete, the uh, then acting a woman, a woman leader of the national, and then she came into the thing. We had a meeting in the minister's house where they reconciled us, and every man went back to his position. Uh, that was it. He became his chairman back. They brought him back. I went back to my deputy position. You can it's, it's, it's in public. Yeah. Where Moses or God even announced because they unilaterally appointed Moses as deputy. It was so funny. You know, they had a meeting in Asaba. You are very much aware. Yes, yes, Moses, it was all about in Israel. Moses, I'm, like, ah, I'm no more share deputy chairman. I've stepped down now for the owner. now. Beside Mana is the deputy chairman. Yes. We went back to our various offices and then we actually completed our tenures. I completed my tenure, four years tenure as the deputy uh, state chairman in April this year. So there was never a time I was actually suspended. Wow. So that uh, uh, report is all is on you are you are debunking it now. Of course, it's not true. And I mean, when we did the reconciliation, the pictures and the videos were everywhere with Stella Kotete and the minister holding us. It was in the minister's aspect, so say okay, I'm Okay, so all right. If you completed your tenure, everything was fine. Now you left APC for yes. Abga. Good. What? Uh, what actually played out? Okay. Why did you move? All right. You know, at a point in time, the, a new ESCO needed to come in. Yes, sir. It was at that point we had a serious crack. Where Senator Vioma Gege arranged with his aides. They arranged and then they went to steal the, the materials with, the, with his um, uh, security details. They stole the materials and the, man, the people brought the, the forms for the Congresses. They complained that openly. It was all over the news. All over the social media, uh, print media, where well, they stole those materials. And uh, we actually expected the national to, you know, handle this thing, okay. you know, bring back all the forms. And unfortunately, being who they are, bribe collectors and whatever they call themselves, he must have bribed them. And without mincing words, they were talking here, talking there. We had a series of meetings. Obviously, you could tell they they collect money and then you know they mess up the whole place i haven't collected money so okay. uh, we continued there was a serious crack the party was divided into two i became the chairman of one side the other side they had their own chairman at a point uh, we brought in a, a barista honorable barista silas bowie who now headed one side so a piece of data became two one, the chairman, Silas Bowie, I was, a, I was his deputy. The other one, uh, Omeni Sobotier, yes. as chairman for Magige Group. We battled it. Even the National Reconciliation Committee, headed by the Senator Abdullahi, the present national chairman, invited all of us to Abuja. Yes. We had the meeting. It was a very successful meeting, where they agreed that all these things were resolved, who, you know, all parties would be involved, and that illegal thing they did will be dissolved and we build everything together. But you see them jumping from one corner to another. I just saw a party that was not ready to move forward. Oh. Oh, yes, that was what wow. I saw. Strong words. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm serious. I'm not, without means in Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I saw a party that is <laughs> just made up of some greedy idiots hmm. who are not even thinking about the nation. 
who are not thinking about the land, who are not thinking about the people but themselves. I believe the change we needed in this land, in this nation, will come in through APC. I fought for APC. Yes, sir. Uh, I think uh, the records are there. There's I no, was there's marriage no, coordinator no, in Sapla local government. There's no dispute about that. Open local government. We were, I coordinated every In fact, even as far as I took West, I brought coordinator from there. Mm -hmm. I was, I fought. At a point in time, I was, my life was under threat. But I said, this change must come. And we succeeded in bringing the change. Unfortunately, it was the worst change ever in life wow. in the history of Nigeria. And um, I realized that was not what we wanted. Uh, that was not why I actually came into the picture. And I said to myself, I have to leave. At a point in time, I resigned from APC. I was not in any party. Hmm. I just had to resign a few months ago. I resigned from APC. Yes. Because I didn't want to be a part of this mess. APC has destroyed Nigeria. PDP brought us down in 16 years. APC sank us in just eight years into the mud. So I decided to pull out. And uh, I discussed it with a lot of our leaders, and a lot of them saw that it was necessary we pull out of this evil called APC. Okay. And today, we moved out and then we looked for a party that has a dream, a party that has a vision. Somebody like uh, Peter Obi, he was a governor, uh, Abga governor. And his tenure he did very well. He left. We look at people, somebody like uh, the present governor of Anambra State, mm -hmm. when he was the CBN governor, Saludo. Saludo, yeah. Charles Saludo did wonderfully well. Uh, so when you look at people like that, people of credible characters, people of high uh, integrity, you want to associate with such kind of people. And we agreed. I, myself and other leaders like our great our people's general, we sat down and thought of it and we saw it best to move into uh, the All Progressives uh, Grand Alliance. Take note, we are progressives. Yes, sir. <laughs> so we, we just left the, the, moving from one the wrong to progressive <laughs> to the right one, the so All Progressives progressive. wow. Grand Alliance. Yeah. Yeah. So today we are in Afghanistan.